Hello. Welcome to the show. Such as it is. It's not really a show. It's God's Word. It's Godcast. Not a podcast, not a broadcast. It's about God and His Word. Because a chapter a day keeps false teachers away. Too many of us now don't even know what's in the Bible. We don't even open it up. We don't read it for ourselves. We rely on some um, you know, pastor to stand down there and maybe talk about three, four scriptures, maybe even put them up on the screen. Go, yep, there it is. That's what it says. That's all you're getting? This is God's word. We're in the end times. By the way, if you get a chance, and I think it's only running, started tonight, and it's only running through the weekend, four days, and it's a limited, not limited release, as they call it, and it's Left Behind, the movie Left Behind, with Kevin Sorbo, who does a fantastic job, but he's not the only one. Um, it's really well done. Better than the original. It's a remake. Better than the original. Yep, not kidding. I mean, all the way around. So I'm glad I got to see it tonight with a whole bunch of friends. And um, we're going to get to Romans 4. But first... Thank you, holy God in heaven, Lord. You are our all in all, creator of the universe, Yahweh, Y-H-W-H. Thank you for this new opportunity to get to read your word. I pray that you will encourage others to share this. Even better, I pray that you will encourage them to do it on their own pages. Start in the book of John and just keep right on going all the way through the end of Revelation. Just read a chapter a day. Wouldn't that be awesome if so many people started doing that? So, Father, that's what I'm asking for, please. And I beg you for all of us to have wisdom, discernment, understanding, and revelation, the gift of prophecy. You tell us to pray for those things. Your word does through Paul wisdom discernment so we know what's of you and what's of the enemy and we will not be fooled that's so important father thank you for this time please give us your holy spirit so we can really understand what you want us to know about you in your name lord yeshua christ jesus amen and amen romans 4 What then shall we say that Abraham, our forefather, according to the flesh, has found? Has found? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Now to the one who works, his wage is not uh, credited as a favor, but as what is due. But to the one who does not work, but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is credited as righteousness. Just as David also speaks of the blessing on the man to whom God credits righteousness apart from works. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds have been forgiven and whose sins have been covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord will not take into account. For this blessing then... Uh, uh, Then on the circumcised or on the uncircumcised also, is this blessing then on the circumcised or on the uncircumcised also? For we say, Father was credited to, er, excuse me, for we say, faith was credited to Abraham as righteousness. How then was it credited while he was circumcised or uncircumcised? Not while circumcised, but while uncircumcised. And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith, which he had while uncircumcised, so that he might be the father of all who believe without being circumcised, that righteousness might be credited to them, and the father (coughs) of circumcision to those who not only are of the circumcision, but who also follow in the steps of the faith of our father Abraham, which he had while uncircumcised for the promise to abraham or to his descendants that he would be heir of the world was not through the law but through the righteousness of faith for if those who are of the law are heirs faith is made void and the promise is nullified for the law brings about wrath 
but where there is no law, there is also no violation. For this reason, it is by faith in order that it may be in accordance with grace, so that the promise will be guaranteed to all the descendants, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who was the father of us all, who is the father of us all, as it is written, the father of many nations have I made you, in the presence of him whom he believed, even God, who gives life to the dead and calls into being that which does not exist. In hope against hope, he believed, so that he might become a father of many nations and according to that which had been spoken. So shall your descendants be. Without becoming weak in faith, he contemplated his own body, now as good as dead since he was about a hundred years old, and the deadness of Sarah's womb. Yet with respect to the promise of God, he did not waver in unbelief, but grew strong in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully assured that what God had promised, he was able also to perform. Therefore, it was also credited to him as righteousness. Now, not for his sake only was it written that it was credited to him, but for our sake also, to whom it will be credited, as those who believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead, he who was delivered over because of our transgressions and was raised because of our justification. Wow. Romans 4. Please go back and read it on your own. I know all that circumcision stuff, all that circumcision talk. Um, but it is. There it is. Romans 4. Important stuff. But we need the Holy Spirit to really direct us with what it means. Talk to you later. Lord willing, tomorrow. Well, I guess today now. Eh.